So we are going to be starting corn silage harvest today. Had a change of plans. We we're going to be chopping tomorrow, calling for some rain, and we moved it up to today. So that means we got to get this bunker cleaned out the rest of the way. There's a pile of sandbags in the back. I got to bring a pallet in here and stack these on there. Kind of have a lot going on around here lately. Been doing this building project, extending that barn out. And they had a bunch of wood and supplies in this bunk. Just got them out of here so we can actually sweep it out the rest of the way. cover the bunk with plastic and we use these sandbags to hold the edges down. We also use this corrugated pipe. It's got a slice cut in the side of it, slipped down over the top of the walls because we're going to pull plastic up over the walls. Keeps it from damaging the plastic. Sometimes it can blow off in the wind. Most of it stays on all the time. We'll put this back up into place. We have the three bunker silos. Two of them are empty. The center one here is the biggest of the three. It's the first one we're going to fill. Now we got our giant dustpan and brush. Pretty handy. I'm just gonna go around the edges, push them out a little bit, and he'll be able to get the rest. Got the bunk all cleaned out. The sweeper makes quick work of it. Now we're gonna work at laying plastic up over the walls. So we wanna have the walls wrapped so that once we're full, we can just flip it up over and it'll have those corners sealed up nice. So I have a piece here that's gonna go across the back. We wasn't sure exactly how much plastic we had in this roll. There's two pieces that we had rolled together. It's gonna be enough to cover this back wall. The builders are setting up to pour concrete for the curbs. This is the feed alley right here. I'm gonna mount headlocks across there just like this. We're gonna go get the rest of the plastic soon. We're gonna first grab some gates we have laying over in this shed. We need to pull down the gates that are mounted on that end wall now so they can work there. And they just need something temporary to lay in place to keep the cows in. Yeah, they're going to remove those two big gates right there. And so these will just sit there temporarily. We have a custom harvest crew coming to do the chopping. They should be here in about an hour, so we're getting ready to hang this plastic up. Got a couple people coming to help. It can be a little bit tough, especially if it gets breezy. The bunker is 42 feet wide. We got a 60 foot wide piece of plastic. We're gonna roll it out here and just drape it over the edge of the bunk, and then at the end, we'll be able to fold that up over. So we'll have kind of two layers of plastic. Both corners will be sealed up. Now we gotta get this roll up on top of that bunker to keep rolling it back through. So my buddy Mike is here helping. 
He has a full-time job, but was able to make it work for a little bit here. Dad went and grabbed a couple straw bales. We're gonna start pulling this plastic over. It's a little bit breezy. Just wanna make sure we can hold the plastic in place until we get some silage in here. We got a straw bale holding that end. We'll get the rest pulled over. So this is the easy side since we have this nice flat floor the whole way back through to roll the plastic out. We're getting this second side set up. Kind of hard to work with that pile there, but we're getting close now. So we're ready to fill. Once the first load of silage comes in, we're gonna push it against the sides to help hold the plastic in place. Just waiting on the guys to get here now. So we're gonna have them start in this field. Got a few fields at home and then we have a rented farm that we want to do. But this seems to be the driest stuff. On the edge here, this looks really dry. Once you get in the field, it's not quite as bad. Some good looking corn. There's a liquid product he just put in his chopper. It's an inoculant that helps preserve the, the feed, make it store better in the bunk. So we got that loaded, now he's getting ready to start. See if they have enough space with that barn extended now. Looks like he's gonna make it work. We're gonna run two Packer tractors. There's a guy coming with a blade that's gonna be running, pushing it up. Should be here any minute. We're just gonna start with the skid loader and spread it around to hold this plastic down. Pusher tractor just got here.
One thing we like to check when we get started is how the kernel processor is doing in the chopper. So there's a couple big metal rollers in there. It's supposed to crush the kernels, so that way the cows can digest all the energy inside of them. So we had them tighten them down a little bit already. Might have to do a little bit more. Don't want to really see any whole kernels in it. So now the idea is as the loads come in, we're going to layer it out about six inches at a time and then pack it really good. Want to force all the oxygen out. So that way it can ferment properly and stay uh, fresh in the bunker for feed. We have a second tractor we're going to be running on the bunk as well. Just wanted to wait for them to get going a little bit so there'd be enough space for both of us. He said that rig weighs just under 40,000 pounds. The last couple years we were renting a sheep's foot roller, which I haven't been extremely happy with. And we got something else this year. Showed it in my last video a little bit. But it's a versatile 255 Agcom. Uh, this is the only dealer in Pennsylvania, the only versatile dealer in Pennsylvania. So they're looking to get this machine out. We have our 5,000 pound weight on the back of it already. This rig is right around 32,000 pounds. This thing has a massive cab. Now we're packing away. Got Dad in here with me for some extra dead weight. <laughs> this tractor has a CVT. So right now I have it topped out at two mile per hour about. It's all the faster we need to go in here. That's our nutritionist, Ken, right there. He's the one that helps us balance our cow rations. He's just checking on the silage, making sure the kernel processing is good. This is all dairy cow feed, so it's important that we make as good a quality as we can. Very exciting job, but it's a very important job, so I don't mind doing it. Got dad running the versatile a little bit. I want to go riding the chopper. small fields they did right away and then now they're working at the big field that we injected manure into this year. This variety of corn is specifically designed to be grown for corn silage. The stalks are made to be more digestible for the cows since we're harvesting the entire plant. This type of corn won't give you quite as good a yield as some varieties. But actually this field here is looking extremely good. Some of the biggest ears I've seen on BMR corn. Really good looking stuff. I'd like to get in the chopper a little bit and ride along if I can. such a fun job. 
so satisfying just seeing that corn get eaten. They're just running two carts, but we're not too far from the bunk and they're able to keep up. Chopper doesn't really stop at all. Nobody waits, it's pretty efficient. Definitely got to be paying attention doing this job. Gonna have a steep drop off the back of here. Especially when you're using somebody else's tractor. Usually get about 100 cart loads in this bunk. Definitely better than last year. I was running that cheap spotted roller. That was an open cab and it like blows hot air right in your face. Kind of end up with a sore throat after running that thing all day. This versatile is a whole lot more comfortable. Got the AC going. So it's nice I can adjust my max speed right now. I'm in the low range and my max speed I can go is 2.2 miles an hour. We had 24 acres of early corn at the home farm here. They just finished with that. I got a little bit of time here while they're switching to the other farm. We got about 560 ton in there so far. Usually holds about 1200, so right around halfway done. I'm gonna sneak in here to the fuel tank, just gonna top it off. Try to keep as much weight in the tractor as I can. I also try to put it on a few pounds every year in preparation for this. My dad's mixing feed for the cows right now. So he's loading in the corn silage that was harvested last year. So once it goes through fermentation, it looks more brown like that. That's what you want it to do. Uh, if you go and try to feed this fresh corn silage to the cows, it wouldn't do very well on it. You'd see a drop in milk production. It's good to let it sit in the bunk for a bit, ferment. Now this specific variety is actually designed you can feed it sooner after harvest couple weeks after harvest and you should be good to go so that's actually what we're gonna have to do because we're gonna be filling that bunk over there and then another week later we'll fill that one over there in front of what's left from last year so it's gonna force us to have to break into this silage then ideally we'd extend these bunks out a little bit longer and then just fill two every year and have one that we can feed for a couple months past and have carryover silage so I don't know if that'll happen in the future or what we're gonna do Well, got dark. It is now 8.30 in the evening. Getting towards the end. Maybe 15, 20 loads still to come in. It's 
the evening milking is going now so we milk three times a day 4 30 in the morning 12 30 in the afternoon and 8 p.m got a couple of our faithful employees in there milking right now Not quite as nice with that building sticking out farther. It seems to be in their way a little bit, but they're making it work. Good we didn't go any farther. So we got the plastic all set up beforehand, so it's pretty nice now. We're just gonna fold up that side first, and then this side will overlap. Both of them will reach about to the other side. And then we're gonna lay tires over the whole thing just to push all the air out of it. Keep weight down on it. There's also a piece of plastic over the back wall, so we'll actually pull that one up first. We got a breeze coming from the south, so it's kind of fighting us a little bit for this second piece of plastic. Now we're putting sandbags on the side that is draping over the wall, sealing everything up. This is exactly 12.01. The plastic pulled over, tires covering everything. So now I can go to bed and sleep good till 4 a.m. when I gotta milk cows. So it's the next morning. Finished up shopping last night. They're pouring some more concrete here today. Working at the curbs around the outside of the pen. So there's the finished bunk. It ended up being right around 1,200 ton, 95 loads. Moisture was right around 68%, so that's what we're looking for. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Got some more harvesting to do probably next week. All right, see you guys in the next one.